the individual that's alleged to have murdered Lauren Dryden, a young mother of two, while waiting for an Uber to take her home, is appearing for his bail hearing today. The reason why we've come out in numbers here today is basically because this has been an ongoing issue with the same individual. The National Prosecuting Authority has acknowledged their failures to this community by allowing this person back into society after numerous issues such as this, which, rel which relates to murder, firearms, gangsterism, etc. And I think effectively what we're saying as a community is that enough is actually enough. The death penalty must come in. The penalty, I want to reiterate, the penalty must be for the crime. So if it's murder, it must be more serious than just life because they sit for a few years and then afterwards they are being released into the community. Government need to really become more serious on domestic violence and gender-based violence. My sister was murdered by her a, a ex-boyfriend. Ex-convict ex was twice paroled. Two, two, twice he was paroled and um, she was murdered on the 22nd of December 2017. Through him, he's beaten her to death. The justice system failed her because the case was withdrawn based on that the post-mortem report says that she died of natural causes, but yet there is witness statements that say how he beat her to death. And if you look at it, it's mostly ex-convicts that's being paroled. That's why I'm pursuing justice for my sister till the end, till the end, and I won't stop till I get justice for my sister.